look what I have received. This is my birthday gift. There is supposed to be two in there. Two five-tier green stock towers. I'm so, so, so excited. Can't wait to plan things in them. So I just finished one of my new green stocks and one more to go, but I ran out of soil, so I have to go get more. And in the first one, I planted some bush variety tomatoes in the bottom. I planted Czech tomato. They are bush varieties, so they should not get too tall. I also planted some banana pepper, cayenne, more tomatoes. So the first layer is tomato and peppers. The second layer is peppers and petunias, which are about to bloom. The third layer is also peppers and petunias. And then the top two is peppers, tomatoes and herbs. So here I have banana mint, pepper, rosemary over there. And look at this. This is microtom tomato, which has little tiny tomatoes on it. If you can see right there. This is black pearl pepper, orange sun tomato, which is also a miniature tomato, full of blooms. So hopefully I'll get some of the tomatoes from these two. And there is more peppers on this side. This is Texas bird and pearl, and I have a rosemary over here. Finally, my two green stalks are done. I filled them up, I planted a ton of things, so 30 plants per each, that's 60 in total. I planted some petunias, but mostly it is vegetables, or to be precise, fruits, because peppers and tomatoes are fruit. So you can see I have peppers in here, tomatoes. The bush varieties are in the bottom and these micro miniature tomatoes are on the top. So I planted some peppers and sweet potatoes in this bed over here in the front. I have petunias and pepper in the pot seeds in the hanging baskets and over here I had bok choy growing and now it started to bloom so I pulled it out and I planted four peppers in here and some sweet potatoes because on the other side I will have nasturtiums I mean they are already here and they're starting to bloom as you can see there is a flower there And in these pots over here in the front, I had also planted peppers in the middle between the pansies. So these are lilac bell peppers. I had primrose over here in the middle, but when it finished blooming, I pulled it out and planted a pepper. And then later when pansies are done, I can add some petunias or sweet potatoes around. Same thing over here, lilac bell pepper. Last year in these pots, I had eggplants growing and they produced a lot of fruit. So you can incorporate edibles in your front landscape. Tulips already are finishing. My muscaris are also down blooming. So I added some peppers over here in the front. This is Toro, Serrano and another Toro pepper. 
because in the back over there I have some wool flowers, bee balm, there's some calendula and bachelor buttons coming up. But over here in the front will be perfect spot for peppers. First of my forget-me-nots are starting to bloom. Look how pretty they are. I also have some bachelor buttons in here and it looks like they are starting to get buds. You see, those are buds. Looks like my clematis is all budded up. So pretty soon we will have a beautiful show here, clematis and peony. But for now, we enjoy this beautiful anemone. So pretty. It kind of reminds me of those white daffodils. Very similar appearance. How to prolong the season of your perennial herbs? Get rid of the bloom stalks. I don't want my sorrel to bloom already. So I'm going to pick these bloom spikes and hopefully that will slow him down a little bit. This is how horseradish is blooming. Looks kind of pretty tiny white flowers but I don't need this to bloom because I need the root to harvest so what I'm going to do is to pick this flower stalk and put it in my compost I was afraid that my papaw tree didn't survive the winter but it did and it's starting to leaf out so I'm so happy and excited it's a tiny little papa but I love it 